Every time I come to an Auto Wreckers, I feel like a kid all over again. All of the parts for your car, your truck, your minivan, whatever you're looking for, you'll find it at a place just like we're at today in Scarborough. It's Standard Auto Wreckers, 1216 Sewells Road. Joining me now is David Gold of Standard Auto Wreckers. Welcome to our town. Hey, Hal. Great to have you here. So how did this place come to be anyway? Well, it's been in the family since the 60s, and my father took it over in the late 70s. And uh, I got involved in the early 90s, and here we are today. How many vehicles actually come through here each week, each month, and where do you find these vehicles? We get about uh, 400 vehicles a week, and uh, these vehicles come from the city. We're derelict vehicles on the streets, or they can come from towing pounds. And we also get a lot of vehicles from insurance companies, whereby we may purchase them at auctions or directly from the insurance companies on a contract basis. Let's go have a look at how some of these vehicles are stripped when they come onto the lot. Can we do that? Let's go. Let's go to the stripping area. Okay, here we go. Now, these are one of the buildings where a vehicle gets stripped. Describe what happens when the vehicle's brought in here. Vehicles are brought in here and the parts are taken off. Basically, the dismantlers are responsible for testing the engines, testing the transmissions, and, and identifying the good body parts and making them available for sale. Now, here's an example of a non, not, not a very good body part, or the engine here. You can see there's a big X on it. To test the compression of what happens with that. Exactly. In these cases here, a lot of these vehicles may be here because the motors are blown. And our job is to identify parts that are no good and make sure that they don't get sold and they just get recycled. So how do you log a lot of your inventory? I mean, there must be millions of parts here. What we do is we have a man in the field who identifies good parts that are available for sale. Our inventory management system also tells us which parts there are demand for. So that gives us the, uh, you know, the guidance as to what we actually want to stock and handle and put on the shelf. And I guess it's logged into the computer system as well? That's right. We have an inventory management system and uh, we have a data entry girl that enters all the parts in stock and makes them available in our system and on the internet for anyone to be able to look and see what we have in stock. So David, when a vehicle is brought to standard as well, you have to take off the gas tank because of obviously safety issues before the vehicle is crushed. You get the tires taken off. And why do you drain all of the fluids? It's very important for us to drain all the fluids because what happens is if we don't drain the fluids or during the crushing process, they can go into the ground in the environment. So what's very important for us is to drain all the fluids, including the gas, the antifreeze, and basically what we do is we're able to recycle that stuff and then go ahead and process the vehicle for scrap. Now we're in the drop-off zone here at Standard Auto Records. This is where the inventory and they drop off a lot of the vehicles. How has the industry really changed a lot over the years, though? The industry has really grown and changed, and the most dramatic change has really been the advent of the computerized inventory management system for auto recyclers. This system has enabled us to really handle the vehicles more effectively and thereby take off the good usable parts. So you have staff taking digital images all the time? We have staff taking digital images, and these images are broadcast for all of our salesmen to see, and they're also available on our internet, so anyone can see the pictures of the parts and, you know, confirm that they're the correct parts and so forth. This might be the right size. Cowl for my caravan. Also, let's see, a bit of a parking light. There's a headlight. Everything I need here. Now, this is the pick your part section, right? What goes on? That's right. This is the U pick yard, and it's a big part of Standard Auto Records. What we do is we make vehicles uh, available for the public to come on down and take off the parts they need. And of course, they got to bring their own tools, and the price is right. And maybe bring along some rubber boots just in case it's a little muddy, too, right? It can get a little <laughs> ugly at times, especially in the spring. Now we're at the crusher here, and Dave, this is a lot of fun. I can tell you, even your drivers enjoy having a good time with this. Now, how many vehicles do you actually crush a day or each week? Every week we crush about 400 vehicles, and we do crush every day. And once the vehicles are drained with the fluids, then they come here and uh, we crush them and send them to a good home. So where do the vehicles go after they're crushed? After they're crushed, they go to a shredding operation, and they're uh, turned into new vehicles. And here's our remote here. Crush flat, crush jog. What's the crush jog all about? This more than one vehicle, is it? Yeah, exactly. When you got more than one vehicle, it relays it and crushes them nice and tight. In this case, we'll crush it flat. Okay, here we go. You ready? Let's crush this thing. See, that's how you turn a full-size van into a subcompact in a hurry. David, thanks a lot for joining us in our town, teaching us all about the auto wrecking industry. That's great to have you here. <laughs> Standard Auto Wreckers, 1216 Sewell's Road in Scarborough. Check it out, give them a call, or also have a look at their website as well for more information.